Hey guys, Duckshots here. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing Battlefield 1's new DLC coming out in March 2017 called They Shall Not Pass. Let's get this started. Now guys, I'm going to be introducing you guys to the new maps coming to Battlefield 1 in March. Now, um, I've actually got a lot of information on this game and with particularly the DLCs guys. Um, the maps, I don't really know how good they're going to be, okay? But I'm just going to go over them with you guys, give the names, and I'm going to give you uh, screenshots of what the uh, new maps look like, guys. And I'm going to be giving my opinion on them the best I can. So, um, the first map we got, guys, is Verdun Heights, as you can see. Now, Verdun Heights, guys, I don't really know what kind of map this is going to be. Um, obviously, it's got a little bit of fire and a little forest in it, but I don't really know what it's going to be like. Um, I haven't really ran across a lot of maps like this in Battlefield, really. So, Verdun Heights, guys, it looks like a really cool map, but particularly my opinion on it, I don't know how well it's going to be. Okay, Argon Forest was a very overhyped map, and it kind of turned out to be a letdown a little bit, just because there's really no vehicles at all. But let's just see how Verdun Heights turns out, and hopefully it'll be a really cool map. Now guys, Fort Vox, I think that's how you say it, um, as you guys can see on the screen right now, uh, Fort Vox looks like a new Operation Locker type of map. Um, if you guys are not a fan of Operation Locker, if, especially if you played uh, Battlefield 4 with you know, Operation Metro or Operation Locker and you didn't really like it because it was just one big clusterfuck, okay, it was one big clusterfuck, spam grenades, just unbelievable amount of firepower coming down uh, certain hallways or certain choke points and it was really really difficult to play on so it, this map looks like it could be a potential operation locker on Battlefield 1 okay now that being said we do have Suez guys on Battlefield 1 but I don't really particularly think that's a um, operation locker type map because it's outside you can actually move around the whole map you know particularly well but with this map I don't really know how this is gonna work out it kinda looks like an operation locker type of uh, map to me guys so I don't really know anything about this map yet but that's just what I see in the picture right now in my opinion so I don't I'm not a big fan of these underground maps guys but that's what we get with the new DLC coming out in March. Now guys, the next map is Suans. I think that's how you say it. It's a, some French name. I have no idea in my opinion, so I don't really know what this map is going to be like. It kind of reminds me of a St. Quentin Scar on Battlefield 1 if you guys happen to play that a lot. And you'll understand where the map uh, looks and just the, particularly the cities where the buildings are placed. You know, close quarter combat and the cities are really fun. But that being said, I don't think this map is going to be kind of like St. Quentin Scar, but it looks like it, okay? I think it's going to be a little bit different. I don't really know how this map's going to lay out as far as the hills and the little mountain crest with the trees over it. I don't know if that's where the map ends or just, just in, in the city. I don't really know. So if that's the case, guys, that's not going to be a very good map. We need a bigger map than just that city part that you see. But unfortunately, um, I don't really feel like these maps are going to be all that good but i may be surprised guys i may be surprised i'm looking for a little bit more snow maps okay i want some snow maps come in to battlefield one but that being said i doubt that's going to happen now guys the last and final map is rupture um this map particularly stand it stood out to me a little bit as far as the scenery is concerned um i think this is going to be a really cool map coming to battlefield one in march so the rupture i don't that's kind of a weird name for a map but anyways that's what we got for the final fourth map coming in March so I don't really know what this is gonna be as far as a um, close quarter combat map because I'm looking for more of those close quarter combat maps in my opinion because I think World War one is a very you know close quarter sort of war okay it's considered as trench warfare and I'm kind of looking for a little bit something like that I kind of want these maps to stand out in a way to it brings a World War one setting as far as combat guys i'm not really seeing a lot of that in battlefield one right now to be honest with you i think it's just a little bit unauthenticated right now in my opinion but maybe it'll get better with the map so hopefully this map will be a fantastic map because i'm really looking forward to it now guys the new behemoth tank this is where we're going to be getting with the battlefield one's um dlc coming out in march with the behemoth tank it looks pretty sick guys i don't really know how many it's going to hold in the tank but I would assume six to eight people, okay? Now, back in World War I, it was used as a 12-man operation, okay? 12 men would operate on the tank and use it to the best of their abilities, okay? So six to eight people sounds kind of right in Battlefield 1, in my opinion, guys, on this, with the tank is concerned. Now, guys, one of the most surprising things coming in this DLC, in my opinion, is 
the new elite class. Now guys, um, one of my videos before I talked about what would be the new um, elite class. And I kind of talked about what would be the new elite class as far as in my opinion. And I kind of said like a grenade launcher or something like that. And that's pretty much what we're getting guys besides a grenade launcher. Basically what we're going to be getting guys is a trench raider. That's what it's called. And he's going to be more of a grenade spammer. Okay, he's going to be chunking nades unbelievably fast i guess that's i guess was what would happen but the trench raider it sounds pretty cool guys but i just don't really want a lot of the grenade spam in battlefield because i think it's got enough as of right now and that's really all i got today guys um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you learned about what's going to be coming in the dlc in march and i'm really really excited for this guys and just remember guys if you have premium you do get two weeks early access to this dlc um now, I would recommend it if you're a big time Battlefield player, just like me, and I plan on getting premium pretty soon myself because I haven't really purchased it yet. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, I will catch you guys in the next one. This is Duck Shots signing off.